small groups. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here. Today, in my message, I talked about Ephesians chapter 2 in our series, Who Do We Think We Are? Now, Ephesians 2 is dense. When I studied for it, I was like, there is so much we could do. There's so much we could talk about here. I would encourage you, if you're interested, to maybe read through the whole chapter together. What stood out for you? What were some of those things? In my message, I kind of zeroed in on a couple of places. Um, One place was I talked about this idea of what it means to be God's workmanship or God's masterpiece. And that word essentially is the same word for poetry, that we were beautifully created. And my challenge to us listening to this was we are not just beautifully created to be just to have, just to look at, that we are supposed to be active, participating in what God is doing. And the challenge for that I brought was what does it look like to be creative? Because we are creators made in the image of the creator. Maybe you hear that and you're like, I'm not a creative person, or I consider myself a creative person. Go around and share. Are you, do you think you're creative or not? The definition of being creative, a lot of times we can think of it like the master um, writers, painters. You have to be a professional creative, when I think it's a much, much wider definition, and being able to participate is really what makes us communally God's masterpiece, participating with him. One of the other things I zeroed in on was a big chunk that's this Jewish Christian, Gentile Christian, and them coming together. What you need to know is there was incredible hostility between these two groups. I mean, there is racism, there is judgment, like they could not stand each other. They're very different. And Paul is here saying, hey, Jesus has brought these together. We are one now. Specifically, he says, hostility was brought down between us. And he carries that banner of peace. He is our cornerstone to be this family. I think about where we are in our time, in our season. It feels like even within the church, definitely without it, there's still a lot of hostility. And We're described here as a family. Being new creation is being God's family where we can be diverse, um, where we can disagree, but there's still unity and peace. I think it'd be interesting to talk about what you think of that. What does that look like for you today, maybe in your immediate family, your extended family, in this church family? Where do you see us failing at being unified? And what do you think it might look like to be more of the church that's described here, like identified with grace, peace, and unity. And then another big point that I had was really this picture of the gospel. And the reality of it is this strong imagery of death and life that we are unable to do anything about the reality of our sin. And because of that, this gift, like if we don't understand that, we can't really receive how unbelievable the gift is. I read the Tim Keller quote I want to read for you. Um, It says, the gospel is this, that we are more sinful and flawed in ourselves than we ever dared believe. Yet, at the very same time, we are more loved and accepted in Jesus than we ever dared hope. It's our gospel. That's our gospel. I kind of challenged everyone to sit in the reality of that and receive that anew today. My challenge for you would be to do the same and to talk about how really receiving the gift of the gospel changes the way we live. But I hope you guys have good conversations. Feel free, don't be married to anything I said. Enjoy your discussion as you dig into Ephesians 2. Take care.